you're a comedian. Um, people should be happy that they have comedians who don't vote, who don't take sides. I get this all the time, too. People want to know whether I'm left or right because I talk so much and I make so much fun of what's going on in the news and right. pol political stuff. And they want to know. It's like, can I just be a comic? Can I make fun? That's... Uh, that's how you know our society right, right. now is a little uh, infirm is because they are so, everyone is so interested to know what your political stance is as a comedian. Right. Right. Comedians are not here to have a political stance. We are here to make fun and keep everybody well, but honest. People have, people have lost sight of that. And uh, Hannah Gatsby, bless her heart, uh, you know, she was the turning point. And I honestly, I, I, I had no issue with Hannah Gatsby as an artist until she started telling everybody what to do. That's when I started to be like, you know what? Shut the fuck up, Hannah. All right. You did your thing. I backed you through the, I backed, I, and not that she needs my backing, but my point is, is I was one of the fucking meathead guys that, that actually stood up for her when other comics were trashing her and, and, and her, and her whatever. And I think that means something in our industry, uh, because people talk and, 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 we talk to one another and we influence one another and whatever. Um, but whatever, it's a small, small, tiny thing. But when she started saying, here's how you do this, that was when all of a sudden it was like, oh, that's what comedy's supposed to be. Well, I think she was smart because what's underneath all this is commerce, right? Like most things American. Sure. What people care about is money. So what has happened is the mainstream outlets have lost eyeballs so uh, in order to garner some back they made it a moral crusade being like if you watch that other stuff that's independent on your phone that everyone's watching right. you are you are bad well yeah. yeah if you watch this you're morally good i had a bit about this that was not funny because it was just too... Because it was told by you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was too textbooky or whatever. But I had a bit about this, that they they have economized ethics. Yeah. Uh, your morals are commerce now. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's sitting in the room for the job interview. They are asking you, outside of your skill set, what your political persuasions are, what your stance on this is, what your stance on that is. So we're all basically stockbrokers uh, um, trading on behalf of our own uh, uh, corporations now. And that stock is, is, it's fading away finally. It's finally fading away. You see a lot of the, God bless Netflix, who, by the way, you know, she turned around and- Wait, by the way, look at this poster. It seems it's, hilarious. It's I can't just, wait to see this brand new stand-up show called Body of Work. <laughs> where she's dressed as a traumatized geisha girl who looks like she's been kidnapped by Korean aristocracy and forced to be a geisha showgirl. Yeah. By the way, she turned around and spit right back on Netflix after they made her a celebrity. The same way Tig Notaro did Louis C.K. Okay, yeah, yeah, so fine, but what, what kills me with, with this, you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to say, I no longer appreciate this organization I was a part of. Mm -hmm. But what kills me with every one of these fucking celebrities, mainly the comics that go out there after years and years of something and say, oh my God, I need to take a stand against the thing that I was a part of. One thing they don't do, they don't give that fucking blood money back, do they? No. You never see that. There was one group of people in the entire entertainment industry that I saw give the money back, and they were the people in the Woody Allen movies. And you know why? Because that money wasn't shit. <laughs> <laughs> and none of them did it for the fucking money. Yeah. Every person in a Woody Allen movie gets the same fucking call. You're not going to make anything, but you're going to be in the fucking cool kids club. Right. And that's why you did those movies. Yeah. People wanted to work with Woody Allen. Those movies have a $2 million budget. Yeah. You're not making dick, okay? So, and everybody made such a big deal. Look at me, I'm giving my Woody Allen money And back. I'm sure some of them you know? didn't give it back. They just said they did. Right. So um, we, we know that story from uh, you know jo Johnny Depp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my point is is like, but 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 whatever. I don't want to get hung up on Hannah, but she is certainly the 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 catalyst for that that that, that uh, economy of ethics thing that was happening. But you're starting to see it swing back, and I, and I think the the major swing back is taste buds. 
taste buds. <laughs> no, it was the president of Netflix saying, I'm sorry, if yeah. you're going to be offended by things, maybe you shouldn't work here. Right. I, he, that was a huge moment. He's Greek, by the way. You'd figure maybe he would take a peek, you know, maybe take a peek. <laughs> <laughs> he's a Greek guy. Um, yeah, he did that no, because they... I saw your, I saw the, your, uh, your special. Well, I think, it, what did it air on? DoorDash? <laughs> <laughs> It, it aired on, yeah, my special aired on Facebook. It aired, aired on MySpace. No, it's a YouTube special. It's great. Yeah, the clips I you. saw are great. I got to yeah, sit down you. and watch the whole thing, but it's thank very fun. I, by the way, I meant to compliment you back at the very beginning. I've always very much enjoyed your comedy for the same reasons you your said. Your compliment's not going to be clipped and put up. Don't worry, like Louis was. So uh, Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that guy's saying anything. To, to, to <laughs> right now, I mean, he, the guy will say anything. I mean, Jesus Christ. He even said he liked my comedy. I mean, fuck that. guy's saying, saying anything. To stay in the just good to graces. seem like a good guy. Well, we know he's not. <laughs> did you see that movie? It's awesome. I did see it. I went to the premiere. It was awesome. I saw Louis after, and I was like, dude, I, I fucking cried at the end. Yeah. I, yeah, I cried at the end. It hit me so hard. The thing about the mom and like, yeah, I just related to it. But it's, it was, a, it's a great movie. He's a he's yeah. a he's the Louis Louis one of the best comedians of all time. Yeah, as far as pound for pound funny. Can't. Louis one of the best, if not the funniest. Like just like you're gonna laugh, dude. You, he came yeah. out of, he came out of being the most disgraced celebrity of the of the Me Too thing, right? With one of the funniest specials I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Won a Grammy, and then the fa no, yeah. that was the oh, follow, up follow up that won yeah. the Grammy, and then wins the Grammy on the second yeah. one. That one he did where he where he just where he just put it out himself. I think yeah. both he just put it out himself. But you know the first one back. I think it wasn't sorry. It was called. What was the one before sorry? Or was it called sorry? In any event, yeah, I know what you're talking sincerely. about. Yeah, sincerely. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. Then sincerely, then sorry. I mean, Louis Louis one of the great stand up comedians of all time. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, that era they'll, they'll probably be the last ones. Uh, because stand up is is definitely changed as far as like what people think stand up is, what people think a special is, what people gets people's attention. But I here's here's why I disagree with that. Now why I think it's swinging back. It's just going to swing back in a different way. Shane Gillis, look at Shane, dude. Shane put out a special. It got it's up to six point five million hits. He put it out himself. He is every bit of the hilarious and traditional. Fucking raw, he's 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 like Louis in that same school. He's just very talented. Yeah, yeah very and, funny. Yeah. And that he got support. He trended on Twitter yesterday because SNL posted who should we have host next, and everybody wrote Shane Gillis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's like, well, I, Shane's unique because he got popular. He's very funny, and his his special is very funny. He's a, he's an incredible comic, um, but he kind of got famous in the new way. And, and that's what I mean that's by... That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's I'm swinging saying back like, in a different way. Well, it's swinging back in a different way. But then also with for every Shane Gillis or or us, guys who you know are trained stand-ups, there's a bunch of other guys throwing clips up that are getting a million views that you know are going are gonna to be, be doing shows on weekends we used to do, um, sharing at least time. But God, it's, it's all changed. But, yeah. but here's the thing. It's I, opened up. I truly mean this with it. God bless. I don't say that out of any animosity. I really mean... It, it, that's that's what it is. As much as I could criticize Hannah Gatsby for what her stance is, and, and as much as I don't agree with it, I have no ill will towards her or the fact that people want to see that now. God bless. Like, the, if that's what it is, that's what it is. I say to other guys all the time, a lot of comics in New York in particular will complain about the scene at the club now. This club sucks now. That club sucks now. It's not as fun as it used to be. Now it's this. Oh, my God. Why aren't the lineups as good? And I've said every time I'm in the conversation, guys, it's time to move on. It is their turn. That is what the scene is. And sitting around and bitching about that will get you absolutely nowhere. So go out and find a new avenue. And being at a comedy club will get you absolutely nowhere. Exactly. Yeah. So, so, but, so find a new avenue yeah. for your art. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm taking my new I'm taking my new hour. Yeah. And, well, I, I don't want to say what I'm doing with it, but I'm doing something different with it that I want to do with it. Do what you want to do. Yeah. There's no common experience anymore. There's a bunch of niche followings. Everyone has a niche following. Everyone is niche. 
one scene has nothing to do with the other. I felt that at JFL this year, and uh, I didn't want to have anything to do with anyone else, and we don't have anything in common anymore. We don't see each other as uh, co colleagues anymore. It's completely How fractured. How was JFL? It's yeah. fractured. It's fractured, and it's... everyone's living under... In, uh, in that organization, I feel like everyone's living under a fear of sort of... Uh, you know, being canceled has happened to a few people in that organization, as we know, the top and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and uh, and it's fractured. There's no, it's different. I like I'll meet a comic, be like, oh, we're in totally different worlds, and those worlds will never come back together. And the people who go to your show will like your thing, and the people who go to my show will like my thing. I'll be able to go to your show and do well. You won't be able to come to mine and do well. But that's because I'm a professional experienced comedian who's been doing it for a long time but there's this new thing where people just talk to the people who they have things in common with and that makes those people happy and that that's what it is i mean and I, that just speaks to the internet i have no i have no interest in um uh, you know politicking around with I, I'm not. I like young comics, and like I'm, I'm down. You know, like I, I, I love trying to help them if I can in any way, or having them on shows and 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 getting to see them and whatever. Like I don't mean that, but I have no interest anymore in bleeding into that mixture of people. Like I don't you know, mean either. Like yeah. a, 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 at a JFL type of thing. I mean, I would do it if they ask me again. I'll do it. I'll go back. I haven't been there in a long time, but. That concept of like the scene and the mix and all that bullshit, you know. I mean, it 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 went nowhere good. It made some people who who were very you know lucky, uh, very wealthy, and it's all bullshit. 